<laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at the dog. It's like he's like, ready, set, go, in action. Start the thing. That's gonna be my fake laugh. <laughs> Your what? <laughs> my fake laugh. <laughs> Okay. What's, What's up, up EJ squad? squad? In today's video, we are going to be exposing my girlfriend, Erin. So we are going to be exposing the truth about me. So these are questions about me that I've never talked about before. Mm -hmm. Questions that probably people in my family don't know the answers to. So basically, we have uh, very personal questions that I have wrote down mm -hmm. and I'm going to be asking her those specific questions in the video so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and get right into the video y'all stay tuned All right. <laughs> that's like I'm in the hot seat you are in the hot seat I'm in the hot seat so the very first question that I'm gonna ask you is uh -huh. what was your childhood like my childhood was I had a good childhood. Um, I live, if you guys don't know, I'm originally from Cleveland, Ohio. And I lived in Cleveland, Ohio up until I was seven years old. And so when I turned seven, I moved to Georgia, which was kind of not, it was a good experience, but you know, when you move really young as a kid, you kind of mm -hmm. don't really like it, you know, because my parents split when I was that age. So my mom moved here and my dad moved up there. It was a very confusing time because I was used to my parents being together and stuff. And then when they divorced, we moved here. It was kind of confusing and I was too young to really know what was going on. I just knew that I just lived in another state. I did move a lot. As a child, I went to a couple different elementary schools and I went to um, two different middle schools. But I, I, I stayed at the same high school for all four years. So that was good. But other than that, I had my sister growing up, which was really good. So me and my sister, we, we grew up really, really close to each other. So I'm blessed that I had my sister. So being that my parents did divorce, I wasn't around my dad all the time. So I had to visit my dad like only in the summertime and that was really tough because when I would leave my dad in the summer it was it was really hard to do that you know it's like like just everything just feels like it's just crashing down because you're like this is my parent but this is my parent I have to stay with this parent but I want to be with this parent so all in all my childhood wasn't perfect but it could have been a lot worse than what it was so i would say my childhood was good but it wasn't amazing or like perfect but i feel like everything happens for a reason in life so definitely taught me a lot so yeah <laughs> next question that i have is did you have a lot of friends growing up um no i didn't have a lot of friends growing up i was really shy growing up I'm not, I am still shy. When I was younger, I did have friends, but like they weren't really like close friends. And I think it's partially because like I moved kind of. Right. So when I got stable to like a stable place, somebody mowing the grass. Somebody is mowing the grass. So I'm trying to talk loud. So when I got to like a stable place, um, because when I was in seventh grade, I kind of stayed like in the same neighborhood. Right. So I didn't have a lot of friends. I had a few friends, but I didn't have a lot of friends growing up. I always was that person to only have like, like three solid friends. So yeah. yeah. I mean that's typical growing up. You, yeah. You start out with a lot, and little by little. Yeah. Like, next question that I have for uh -huh. you is, what did your last relationship teach you? My last relationship taught me a lot it taught me to um not force anything if you really don't feel a certain way about something don't rush into it mm -hmm. you know kind of just take things slow my last relationship taught me um to be friends before anything because i feel like yeah i feel like my last relationship we weren't we we, we weren't really like like close friends mm -hmm before anything so everything was kind of like rushed into relationship relationship and then when you don't when you're not really like close friends with somebody that you're with you have a hard time communicating with them yeah. so i think that that's what it taught me it also taught me to um just to get to really know a person before yeah you. really get to know somebody and not to ignore red flags because in my last relationship that's pretty much all i did was 
see red flags and then feel like they could be fixed later on. Later on in the relationship, it became like this big, huge problem. So yeah, that's what it taught me. I mean, that's a good lesson to have in life. I mean, it's yeah, better definitely. that it happened It's good early. to go, yeah. Next question that I have is, have uh -huh. you ever been bullied? Um, yes. I was bullied a lot in elementary school. Believe it or not, people used to call me ugly all the time. And I really did think I was ugly, like growing up, like elementary school. It's they used to there. they used to tell me that my head was big. They used to be like, "Oh my gosh, your head is as big as the Georgia Dome." Like they used to <laughs> say that. <laughs> <laughs> they used to talk about my teeth. They used to talk about my feet. They used to talk about a lot of stuff. When I was growing up, I don't know. I just feel like. People was just like me. People used to just call me out. Like I remember one time I was in the bus and like all these kids, like everybody on the bus was like making up a song about me, like a mean song. Mm -hmm. Everybody on the bus was like against me and like I never really understood why. I was really like quiet so I don't know why people used to come for me. I don't know, I definitely was bullied. Like girls that were bigger than me, they used to like try to like push me around, push me around at recess. Cause I was so skinny. It's cause they knew you were pretty. No, it's because I was so skinny. Like I'll be at recess, uh, yeah. all the other girls were like so much bigger than me. They wanted you to be skinny. I mean, they wanted you to be big. And they would like push me around and like tell me like, yeah, I'm gonna beat you up and stuff. So yeah. It got better though. It got better though when I got to high school, but like elementary school and middle school, it was the worst. It's okay. It was the worst, but. Made it out. <laughs> yeah. All Made right. it out. Made it out. So the next question I have is. Uh huh. Okay, next question that I have is what are you most grateful for in life? I am most grateful for everything. You know, I'm most grateful for my family. I'm most grateful for having someone to connect with, like most people don't have. Um, I'm grateful for having just like a good support system with my family. I'm grateful for being the age that I am, being able to be in the position I'm, I'm in, you know? Mm -hmm. I feel like I could be a lot further with myself in life, but I'm so grateful for how far that I've, I've made it. You know, the fact that I'm able to make my own money and, you know, be mature and stuff like i'm really grateful for that so right mm -hmm. that's good yeah next question is have you ever suffered from anxiety or depression yes i suffer from anxiety all the time yeah. i believe that's all of us yeah like um i have suffered from anxiety and depression um i suffer from depression a lot like in high school because I wasn't sure how my life was going to be after high school because um, some of you may not know I did go to cosmetology school. A lot of people didn't think that was like a real career so people would tell me okay you want to be a hairstylist but you still need to go to college, you still need to do this, you still need to do that. So it was really depressing because I felt like um, there were a lot of people that didn't that thought I was gonna be like a failure and stuff because I wasn't going to like a university college even though I was going to a beauty school and um, it really made me depressed because I felt like like I felt lost I felt like I didn't know what I was gonna do with my life it was just hard for me to like wake up every day and like do what I was doing because it just made me feel like I wasn't doing enough like I wasn't good enough or like I wasn't meeting people's standards and it really took a toll on me a lot and um with anxiety it's just i do um suffer from anxiety like still i just pray about it you know anxiety to me comes from like a lot of stress like you know when you're young like if you're our age you know i'm 21 so y'all know how it is i know all y'all can relate yeah. it's tough like your parents on you this is on you relationships like it's a lot and it can be overwhelming you know and that's where the anxiety comes from is just like you just can't contain a lot of it and um all I do is just pray about it you know like, I'm not gonna take medications for it or anything because I feel I feel like I can overcome it you know but it's definitely an everyday battle you know but I mean you just gotta keep God close pray you know, mm -hmm. it's like, that's all you can do yeah. to survive, you know. Yeah. I mean, you'll get through it. You know? Yeah. 
God puts you puts you through that to you know make you stronger, make you a stronger like, person. Yeah, you know? make you be able to handle situations. It, it, it helps so. you elevate your life into being more of like a grown up, like more of an independent yeah. soul and person. That's so true. Mm -hmm. Next mm -hmm. question is: mm -hmm. What do people always misunderstand about you? Honestly, really don't. No, I think one thing that people misunderstand about me is, um, I don't know. I've had people think that I was like stuck up. I don't know why I thought that. Yeah, but I feel like people think that because I don't say much. Mm -hmm. And people think the reason I don't say much is because I think I'm better than people. But that's the complete opposite. I feel like I'm better than nobody. Yeah. And. I mean, the way you walk, you walk like. I have, a, I have a lot of confidence in myself, yeah. but a lot of people think... It's intimidating for a lot of people. Yeah, it, it can be intimidating, I understand. I'm really not stuck up at all, yeah. like none whatsoever. Yeah. I learned that once, I really got to know you. Yeah, I'm like... It's like, wow, she's I'm, like really, I'm a, really nice. Yeah, like I'm a quiet person, yeah. but I don't walk around thinking like, oh, I'm better than this person, I'm better than that person. Like, I just wasn't raised to think that way. Mm -hmm. And I care about people too much yeah, to... I feel like everybody's the same. To feel that way, you know what I mean? I think that's probably one thing that people misunderstand about me, but... Yeah. I can't control what people think, so... Mm -hmm. At the end of the day... It is what it is! Alright guys. guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hopefully you all really enjoyed it. We are probably gonna do a part two to this. Well, definitely mm -hmm. we're going to be doing Exposing the Truth About James. But we're probably going to do part twos to each of ours because yeah. there's so much more questions that yeah. I can answer. And that I have written down. But this yes. video is already so long. We don't want to like, yes. have y'all like, you know what I'm saying? So, we, like, so we're going to do a part We're going to do a part two to mm -hmm. this. We're going to do one for James and we're going to yeah. do a part two for him. So these questions are like really deep yeah. questions. Yeah, it was getting real deep, you know. Yeah. Explaining yourself. But I feel like it's good for you guys to know that y'all yeah. are like not alone with like mm -hmm. some of the stuff that y'all feel like. Or like certain situations yeah. that y'all may go through throughout your uh -huh. life. It's like maybe we've you also been normal. through it or yeah. like something similar to it. And we, we just want to show y'all like, I know a lot of y'all may look at us and like look at other YouTubers and other people that's like above y'all. Like we are we are not above y'all. Like just cause we, yeah. we, we're sharing our life with y'all. That doesn't mm -hmm. mean that we're different from y'all or we don't go right. through the same thing as y'all. And like y'all should understand that like, mm -hmm. when y'all judge like YouTubers and y'all judge people like, like they go through real life situations, you know, and it's like yeah. you can't, you gotta understand like they're people, like we just share our lives with you. Like, yeah. you know, it don't make us any different. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. I feel like that was like a video for y'all to like, yeah. get to know me like a little bit more like on a personal level. Yeah. So we definitely gonna be doing a part two to this for me. Mm -hmm. And James is gonna be in the hot seat yeah. as well. So. so go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe down below if you're brand new and go ahead and turn on post notifications if y'all have not already. And go ahead and follow our social medias above. And with that being said, we're gonna catch y'all on the next video. We love y'all so much and peace. peace.